Hey everyone. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. <laughs> this time, we are going to be taking a look at something I've actually hadn't touched on since it came out. I'm not even kidding. This is uh, no surprise by the uh, by the uh, the title of this video. We are going to be reviewing Tobias and the Half Pariah. Yes, I said that. Tobias and the Half Pariah. This is like a fan-made Thomas film that came out in 2014, a couple years ago. Three years to be exact. Um, and what did I think of it? It's it's very awesome. I mean, it's it's amazing. There's a lot there's a lot of new new boundaries are explored. It's just crazy. All right. So what's the plot of this? All right. So basically, it it's pretty much it goes from the you know the story arc from Toby the Stout Gentleman, uh, that kind of thing, taking on a new retrospective. Uh, and then of course uh, Toby's on Sodor and does all his all the work, but then we get to Gordon who is super jealous, intentionally causing an accident, not intentionally, uh, which causes Thomas to almost have an accident. But then Sir Top Hat finds out, sends Gordon away in disgrace, um, and. He decides to join the Diesels when the Diesels try to find Tobias or Toby uh, and Henrietta, uh, led by Montague, not Duck, or yes, he is Duck, but he's called Montague throughout the film. Um, and he is an interesting character. His facial expressions—they're not like Timothy the Ghost Train, but they're just—they're interesting. They're just so like crazy. Okay, so back to the plot. Uh, so they head to Sodor, they capture Toby and Henrietta. Uh, but then Gordon is, realizes uh, the error of his ways. He lets Toby and Henrietta go at the cost of his own life. Yes, because essentially Diesel's chasing him down, but then they go through an explosive factory and Gordon dies. There is a lot of deaths in this too. It's not just Gordon Diesel. Mavis dies uh, as well because Toby actually kills Mavis. I don't know why Mavis was a, uh, a an antagonist. I'm surprised Salty wasn't even in the in the special. He would have. Uh, I don't know what he would have thought of if he saw the the special. Or I could be wrong. I haven't seen the special uh, ever, uh, since it came out. So. Uh, but yeah, uh, so basically it comes down to the showdown with the diesels and the steam engines. Yes, Diesel 10, Splatter, Dodger are a part of it as well. They're all defeated, uh, and then of course it's Tobias and Montague. Uh, but basically, but the reason why Montague is after Tobias is because um, Montague was a diesel. Not even kidding, he was a diesel formerly, but then after a tragic accident with one of Tobias' brothers, He's not rebuilt as he was previously. He was built into Montague. The, he, he was built into a tank engine, and and they use his diesel engine and put it into into Tobias. It's crazy. I know. That's why I said new boundaries are explored. It's pretty cool. I mean, we haven't seen an actual Thomas episode where okay, Thomas is gonna instead of taking on water and coal, he's just gonna take on diesel fuel. How's that gonna work? Not pr not pretty good, I imagine. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so eventually, Montague is defeated because uh, <sighs> Tobias is like, okay, look, I'm gonna let you go, but that's unless you stop your antics. So yeah, Tobias just starts slowly backing away, you know, and then when, <laughs> when Montague is like, he just just goes after him, and then. He just when, when like when Machu gets all furious and whatnot, ch charges after them, and then he act t t Tobias actually pushes Montague off a cliff, and Montague dies. Um, no joke. Sorry, I uh, thought my phone was activated, but not the case. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's, uh, uh, and then at the end, it's happily ever after, but 
Oliver, his assistant, is looking onward. So that's Tobias and the Half Pariah. It's interesting, and yes, there is a sequel called Tobias and the Arcade Merchant, which is essentially, essentially it's Oliver as the main antagonist, uh, which, is which is interesting. It's not like the whole uh, steam engine versus diesel kind of thing. I like that unique aspect. It's pretty cool. Whoever made Tobias and the Half Pariah, and of course Tobias and the Arcade Merchant, I know that hasn't, been com hasn't come out yet at the time of this recording, but whoever made Tobias and the Half Pariah, again, Oscar, Oscar winning performances, I swear. Everything I've seen has been Oscar winning. It's, and there, there isn't any real flaws, you know, I mean, it's just pretty, pretty cool. Will we see Montague in the sequel? Probably not. I mean, the way he died is just, he just falls into the water and his face, like, disintegrates. His face actually disintegrates. And speaking of the faces, like, the faces are taken to a different perspective. Like, the, the model faces they used from season 1 to, uh, I think it was season 1 to 12. Like, they are just, like, for example, Gord's surprise face is like a surprise angry face, for example. Uh, Thomas's eyes are a little thinner on one of his surprise faces. I'm just noticing, I'm just saying. Uh, and of course, Montague is, is just, well, Montague. Anyhow, so yeah, all in all, great, great special, great film. I know, I think I, I should have reviewed this last year, but anyway, I I could be wrong. I'll have to go back and check, but to be honest, great special, as I said. Highly recommend that you watch this. I don't think you'll be disappointed when you watch it. It explores so many boundaries and explores so many uh, retrospectives and it just goes, it goes all out crazy. I, it goes all out crazy at the end, but it's very neat. It is so, so neat. This special. I'm not even kidding. It's just, it's pretty darn cool. Sorry. <laughs> oh, friends just texting me. So anyways, so that is my video review of Tobias and the Half Pariah. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. Yes, take care. See you soon. Have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.